with the name Bratticus. How did that come about? Um, it's a completely made up word that our dad used to call us as a joke if we were being naughty when we were kids and it was kind of just like brat but uh, we and we just thought it sounded funny and so we used it as our band name but it's confused every single person that's ever heard it and everyone's like is it German is it Latin what does it mean everyone has theories so we should have really come up with a like crazy the- uh, meaning for it at the start of our band that we could have told it everyone. it sounds like a lot fancier or maybe like more interesting than it actually is. is. I think people are probably let down when they hear the actual story (laughs) i think it's cute so that's good and being sisters growing up in rural scotland Mm -hmm. your parents apparently were punks yeah is that how it still are (laughs) and is that how you got into punk I mean, probably, but also kind of not. Like, we didn't, like, when we were really young, we didn't really listen to punk. Uh, We definitely not, like, our parents didn't, like, enforce that on us, but I think we just kind of grew up around it. We kind of kind of got into it, because we got into, actually, bands that our parents didn't even listen to first, bands like Bikini Kill and things, Mm -hmm. uh, and then that's kind of how we got into it. It was actually from a mix CD that a friend made me, and then then once I started to listen to bands like that, mum and dad were like, okay, well, if you like them, why don't you listen to X-Ray Specs? And why don't you... And then, like, it kind of came from there. So a bit of both, a bit of our own discovery and a bit of our parents, I imagine, as well. (laughs) I think that's brilliant. And that's... You you discovered it really from then the Riot Girl movement. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think for both of us, that's what really, like got us into it and then got us into like really wanting to be in a band and do like I mean, that, play that style of music. I, I mean you'd been wanting to for a lot of <laughs> I've years. I've been trying to form a band since I was seven in rural Scotland <laughs> and I could not find a single person like I've been in uh, since the age of seven I've tried to form t- tons and tons and tons of little bands and we would do little things and nobody was really as interested in me and nobody wanted to play the same kind of music as me and then when Ona was about 13 she started to mm-hmm. learn the bass. and or we no were younger like, I mean I've, I've been learning oh, since it, I was yeah. like 11 or something okay. I think maybe then or, uh, when she was 14 we started Bratticus together and we were like okay we both like the same stuff and we'll just we'll do it <laughs> and it really suits you because it's almost like you are one you're not I mean you're obviously two individuals but your mindset comes down to just one yeah, when it yeah. comes to the band and do you, you don't really have any conflicts then as you're creating the music and how you want to go no, really, we really we get on very well in that regard, and Yay. just yeah, usually things go very smoothly. I think we kind of like yeah, doing it and being sisters and just knowing each other well enough that kind of it just sort of it works. Like you're saying, we just we're sort of connected enough that it seems to just kind of work yeah. like that, and we don't usually We've never run had into a band fallout yet. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> I think that's good. That's a, yeah. that's a record. To keep yeah. it that way. <laughs> usual sisterly fallouts that can happen but not banned ones but I guess we were also home educated so we spent a lot of time with each other up until being in the band so then it was kind of like 
we already knew how to be together and li- live harmoniously. Yeah. <laughs> so then we just could uh, put that on to being in the band as well. So, And you don't have a drummer. You use a drum machine. First question on that. Does the drum machine have a name? That's a lot of people yeah. ask that, and we're not. We need. We should really. We, we should name it. We just don't call it the drummer. Yeah. <laughs> and like, so if the phone dies that we play the tr- the drum tracks from, we're like, oh, the drummer's dead. But well, yeah, <laughs> it's getting yeah. A spinal tap. Yeah, it's very, very <laughs> spinal tap. But is it because you just can't find anybody up by home, or is it because that it's just initially. the two of you? Initially, it was that, mm-hmm. and then now it's kind of like it just feels like it works the two of us, and we like it the two of us. So, like we have had people offer, but to be honest, everyone who's offered has still lived at least four hours away, which is kind of far. We had someone offer who lived in Sweden. Mm-hmm. We had someone in Japan. So, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a little bit of a commute for yeah. practice, but so, yeah, even Glasgow is a bit far away. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. I mean, Glasgow's what four or five hours yeah, from you, yeah. so. Or yeah, three and a half, four. So. Yeah, yeah, so it's it's a bit much. So yeah, we're like, let's just keep it the two of us. We know that we both want the same thing. We can rehearse any time we want because we live in the middle of nowhere together. Yeah. So, <laughs> and that means that you don't have to worry about the volume as well. I assume. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No neighbors to annoy. Yeah. So that's yeah. yeah. We're very. That's a definite benefit. Yeah. 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 And you've even been interviewed or featured on the BBC. How did that come about? Twice, yeah. yes, twice. Really that know. was kind of an odd one, yeah. That, we, that yeah. surprised us. Um, we just got emailed one day and like asked. They were like, "We want to come like all the way up to your house and film you and interview." you. And we were like, Two different "If you shows. want, like, sure. If you want, like, like do you know how far away it is?" But, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, two different shows in the space of a month or two, and then that was it. But yeah, we were like, "Okay, if you want to come and do that and make a program about us, then." <laughs> fine but yeah it was definitely weird the first one was like these two um young girl filmmakers who they were like skate into skating and horror mm. films and stuff so we got on really well with them yeah um, like-minded women yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that was cool yeah. and have you had any um or have you had anything come out from those bbc interviews anything gigs or more interest we've definitely had quite a lot of people who meet us and say they they saw that especially like more like we would never ever before that have anyone local ever sort of like know of the band and it seems like a lot of people like more from the the area on the tv yeah like (laughs) where we are have actually seen it and then they're like oh yeah i saw from that whereas i think otherwise no one had heard of us us doing a band or anything so yeah we've definitely had a bit of that (laughs) And how are things up musically, up where you live? I mean, being in a rural village, basically, how are things musically? Do you have a scene near you or...? In the village near us, there is no scene at all. Uh, There is a pub and we've been to one gig in it, but but there's no scene. And then there's a place called Forest um, that's like 40 minutes, like almost an hour away. And there's a kind of young metal scene there. And we've played there a couple of times. but um, yeah, there's no, uh, and I mean, they, there used to be punk gigs in Elgin as well, which is an hour mm-hmm. away, but it's it's quite bitty and like, yeah. it's uh, we definitely mm-hmm. find we ourselves traveling go, a lot. Yeah, we go to <laughs> Glasgow mainly for playing gigs, okay, occasionally Aberdeen and Edinburgh and stuff, but Glasgow seems to be kind of like the center of it, for us at least, for mm-hmm. the sort of gigs we're playing, like that's usually where we'd go yeah. if we want, yeah, when we're playing. So you always have a bit of a drive either yeah. way. You just so. make good playlists. Yes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Something to keep you motivated, keep you awake on the road. Yes. Yes. <laughs> What's next? Are you planning on recording anything new or...? Yes, we have been saying for how many years now that we're five. <laughs> we've had our album like ready to record and saying we're like we're gonna do it, and then yeah, just had like a shit ton of things happen that have put a spanner in the works, and we've not managed to do it yet. But we're hoping now that we're finally. I mean, yeah, it seems it sounds ridiculous saying it because we've said it so much, but I really think we are about to actually do it now, and we're hoping to get it. Yeah, to yeah. get it out because it's just been like ridiculously long since that like, we've had this album ready. And, I like, know, and like most of the songs we play in our set now aren't even from our first album because we've had these other songs so long. So like so long, we really, yeah. and now I've got half of the next album written. We've not even recorded the second one because so yeah, so definitely that. And we've got a load of gigs coming up. We're playing in Mallorca soon. 
Yes, I heard about that. Mm. How did that come about? They just wrote to us again. Like we'd already we played in Gran Canaria in Tenerife before, mm. uh, but we'd never been to Mallorca before. And they wrote to us um, in 2019, and we had what, a, a show there booked for 2020, and then that fell yeah. through. But they kept in touch with us all through the pandemic, and now it's been reorganised. So we're getting they booked us there for a week. So we play yeah. a, a all day or there, and then we've also got a week in Mallorca. So oh my <laughs> gosh. Wait, yeah. you get a holiday Lucky. and yeah. a festival. And then yeah. we come back and then we're playing in Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> the weather, the weather. Oh, that'll be a, a shock to your systems yeah. when you get back. <laughs> we'll be like, we're home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Cold, rainy. Well, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you both so much for your time. Looking forward to seeing you finally. And uh, have safe journeys on all of your travels. Thank you yes, so much. Thanks very much. Yeah, and thank you. It was thank really you. nice to meet you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>